right. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's Amy and Deva. Power Yoga from Mystic Fitness Studio. Hope you guys had a great Friday night and you're rearing and ready to go. Uh, it's Saturday, May 23rd, Memorial Day weekend. Um, jump on in, roll out your mat. Uh, any studio questions? This week was monumental. We found out from the governor that uh, gyms and studios might be able to reopen on June 29th. So we are extremely excited about that. Uh, we're going to do our best to make that happen here. Of course, it's going to depend on, on scientific statistics this month and how uh, the flattening of the curve goes um, and how controlling of the virus goes in Massachusetts. Uh, but still, we're working toward that goal. Good morning. I just want to see awesome sauce. Kelly's in West Dennis, so my friend Deb is here, uh, <laughs> shilling the shoes and uh, doing her own great thing with us. So Kelly, uh, I hope you're having fun on your Cape vacation, and we miss you a lot. But we'll see Kelly back here on Wednesday. Uh, Steve's watching. Thank you very much, Steve. Anyway, our uh, goal is that reopening uh, uh, June 29th. We'll send out an email with some guidelines. Um, <coughs> I just wanted to give a couple of shout outs, too, because it's been also a monumental week for donations. And I just uh, can't even tell you what it means to us as we try to um, make our way through all this unknown territory. Uh, we needed to purchase an air purifier this week um, for some of the guidelines for reopening. And it's an air purifier that will ionize um, the molecules uh, of uh, viruses and bacteria and render them uh, absolutely ineffective. So w we spent $500 on this special technology and that will be in our studio attached to our furnace. And it's a pretty complicated process, but all I mentioned to somebody was that it was a $500 item, and the next day that person gave us $500 on Venmo uh, to buy the um, air freshener, the air cleaner. So it's been a super-duper emotional week in terms of um, just some of the greatest uh, people are just stepping forward and helping us out, and it's almost more than my heart can control. So I'm sorry for being so emotional about things like this, but it means the world. I also need to shout out to our landlord, who has been phenomenal for the past two months, two and a half months, letting us use this space without any sort of um, uh, having to pay rent. So. Uh, these types of things, these acts of kindness have been incredible, and uh, we hope to be able to repay things like this back to the community and to everybody. And then all of you just watching each morning um, means the world to us, so that is the greatest support, and uh, we appreciate every single one of you guys. So mysticfitness at gmail.com. Um, 508-820-YOGA, that's our phone number. Um, of course, Facebook comments. So get in touch with us, contact us, let us know how you're doing, what you're doing, and um, we'll send out an email with how we're, we plan to reopen, okay? In the meantime, we've got these great classes for you. Please share them. So sharing these classes is really the best thing that you can do for us. Um, share, share, share. Join our YouTube. Be a subscriber on our YouTube TV station. Also, Instagram TV. And I'm just kind of looking up this on my phone. So watch that. I'm watching us live on my phone. Okay. So I just love technology. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Simone and Marty. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, it's all great news. Brooklyn, New York, Amanda Chessa, thank you for watching from Brooklyn. So the other day we got a donation <coughs> from a woman I'd never, uh, didn't recognize her name at all. 
and uh, I Venmoed back and I said, hey, uh, what's your address? We'll send you a Mary Beth mask. <coughs> These gorgeous things, right? And uh, we sent it out to Iowa. So everybody's watching and that makes us so super happy. And I know Deba's got uh, family in India who watches daily and uh, that's just great stuff. Thank you. All right. Love to hear from you. Um, and again, we deliver these daily. I'm making some deliveries today to Noreen and Eric and a bunch of other people. So you'll find these in your mailboxes today. Um, you get these when you donate on Venmo. All right, my loves, let's start. Sit comfortably, stand comfortably. Deb is just getting up to start the Instagram because I'm too challenged to be uh, too technologically challenged to be able to tap a button and not be too nervous about it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Thank you for starting Instagram. And so we are live on Instagram also. All right, Amy and Deba, Power Yoga. We'll start seated with some grounding. I'd like you to really uh, position yourself on your sits bones and from that grounding, just try to sit up strong and straight. Relax your shoulders down and back. <laughs> Focus on your breath here. Together, collectively, as a large group all over the country, even all over the world, watching this video live. Let's breathe together. Okay, let's bring in all this beautiful fresh air into our bodies, filling up lungs and filling up belly and rising up high. Letting go, emptying lungs and emptying bellies. And breathe in and fill up. And breathe out, let go. Start with our hands in prayer and heart center, please. Cleansing breath in and out. And our next breath in will be followed by the single sound of Aum. Students, please breathe in. Oh. Enjoy your practices. Let's have a great time. We're going to work up a good sweat, and then you go out and you have a fantastic Saturday after that, okay? So let's enjoy each other's company. And uh, uh, we already bought the ticket. So we're going to take the ride. <laughs> Deb is the only one who will laugh at my jokes. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up higher, reach up to the sky. <coughs> Stretch up nice and tall out of the waist, out of that lower back. Open and close your fingers and circle at your wrists one direction. And then the other direction. <coughs> And how about turning your head? So take your head, lift it up. So I want you to elevate through the uh, vertebra in the neck. So make sure that there's nice extension. Look over right shoulder, please. Just giving your neck a good old twist after creating length. And look over your left shoulder. And just take some glances side to side. Oh, I hope, Kelly, I hope you're having a great time on the Cape. You were very missed here at our broadcasting studio, but we're trying to hold down the fort. Mm. Thank you. Let's lift up, breathing in, sweep. Taking some stretches to one side. Yeah, this is a little tricky. The mirroring, mirroring is a little tricky. I know, I want to move with you, so... There we go. We're going to go one way. 
Yeah, the, you guys make it look so easy. And the other way, breathing into that beautiful sweep. And inhale, lifting up again. One more side to side. So go and take that. <coughs> and the other way. Good. Returning to center, Deba. How about just a forward fold? So early in the practice, this needn't be deep at all. Mm, it just needs to be a place where you settle, touch base with your heart. And breathe in and rise back up. Take your sweet time. Mm, good. We'll turn sideways, guys. Let's take it into our tabletop. Nice stretching of the spine. <coughs> Knees are under the hips and shoulders are above your wrists. Inhale, you arch your spine, raising head and tail. You got it. And exhale, rounding and tucking, chin to chest. And inhale, rise, uh, arching. It's a rising. It's a rising of the heart. And exhale, tucking and rounding. So take a few of those. And then please, you can expand your range of motion, separating your knees a little wider and your hands a little wider. Circling your body one direction and the other. So I'm not checking text just so you know. I'm just playing our broadcast on my phone because I'm unable to see your comments on the camera. So I'm just making sure I'm uh, tuning in to your feelings and your thoughts and your kindness of watching. So that's why I have my phone. Okay, guys. <coughs> And we will return back to a tabletop proper. So that's uh, just your basic hips above uh, knees and shoulders above wrists. And start right out with the ab work. And Deb is our ab queen. And you may have seen some of her videos. And Fridays she does a killer ab session as well in her class. So I'm going to start you guys off with abs since this is power. Here we go. Belly's drawn in and back is flat. Shoulders are above wrist. You'll extend your right leg back behind you. Now option one is to keep the toes on the floor. Option two is to actually elevate the right leg. And that's going to require a little more uh, glute power in there. All right. The right leg is up and back or back and down either way. Um, how about left arm extends out? You got it. Inhale, stretch those limbs apart. Exhale, tuck, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch and tuck. Stretch and tuck. That's three already, but we're doing ten, so there's seven to go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, most excellent. Returning your right knee down and your left hand down. Good. Try the other side, flattening your back. Belly draws in. Left leg extends straight back behind you. Um, level one is toes on the ground. Level two is raising the leg. Good. Right arm extends. Good. Inhale, stretching those limbs apart. Exhale, tucking elbow to knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Fantastic, guys. Okay. Bring your knee back down and your hand back down. Right knee is going to come up. Okay. So a little more work here. We bring the knee back behind us. Yeah. And bending at the knee. So we flex that foot. Good. And this is fantastic for the glutes here. Uh, 
pulsing the knee up just 10 times. You can go slowly or fast, but it doesn't have to be a big pulse at all. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's switch out our legs so the left knee comes up and sole of foot parallel to the sky. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fantastic. And bring that down. Let's take our first child's pose. So that's going to help stretch out some of the work we just did. Option to spread your thighs as wide as you wish. Arms can spread out as well. Take two breaths here in child's pose. Breathing in and out. And one more time. Breathe in and out. Excellent. Downward facing dog, please tuck your toes under and please lift your knees up. Good. Pedal back, walk that dog. So you're going to press one heel at a time into the ground and bend one knee at a time. Nice breath in and out. Yeah. Firing up our thighs now. Okay, here we go. Uh, these are your spring forwards without actually letting that spring release fully. So normally the knees would bend, your hips would be up high, and you would prepare for flight and bring your feet to your hands. But in this version, we're firing up our thighs super hot. So that way, uh, when we bend our knees and look forward, we actually only spring forward into a controlled plank position. Deba, show them. Inhale, hips up, knees drop, and exhale, high plank. Try it again. Hips up and knees bend. Exhale, high plank. Good. Take a few of these. Inhale, hips up, knees bend. And exhale, high plank. Three more. <coughs> so it's like you're a loaded spring. And that spring releases, but not fully. You use, execute your control here. Take one more, Deva. Hips up and knees drop and high plank position. Hold that plank for me. Belly draws in nice and deep. Options here, you can come on your elbows and interlace your fingers and take an elbow plank if you want. We're going to play hopscotch here in plank. So you can take your elbow plank or you can bring your knees down and take tabletop instead. And hopscotch is the right toes tap out to the right off the mat and back in. Left toes tap out to the left and back in. Right tap and left tap and right tap and left tap and right tap and left tap. Right tap, left tap, right, left, right, left. Three more on each side, right left. Two more. Last one. Wow, great job. Chaturanga. So now we lower down into an upward facing dog. Stretching out those abs here. So really let the abs just stretch. Look up if that doesn't hurt your neck. Breathe, holding that upward dog, or if you're not warmed up enough, option to take your baby cobra there. Tuck your toes under, pick up your hips, downward facing dog, head hangs heavy here. Walk your dog, so press one heel at a time into the ground, bend one knee at a time. Breathe in and out. This is awesome. Yep, okay. We'll actually prepare for real flight here, the, uh, sun salutation A, followed by sun sal B. Bending your knees, look forward, hop, skip, jump or walk, feet to hands, inhale flat back for your halfway lift, exhale forward fold. Inhale, circle sweep arms all the way up to the sky and reach, exhale, prayer hands come to heart center, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, circle sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Take it all the way down this time, students. Good. Hands on the ground. Inhaling flat back. Hop, skip, jump, walk, however you want to get there to your high plank. We're going to hold plank. We hold it five, four, 
three, two, one. Roll forward on your toes, bend at the elbows, low plank, chaturanga vinyasa. Inhale into an upward dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Big breath in. Let go with your ah. Twice more. Big breath in. And ah. Once more. Big breath in. Let it go. Okay, second set. Look forward, bend your knees, prepare for flight. Hop, skip, jump, or walk. Feet to hands, inhaling flat back, hands on shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle sweep. Rise, uh-oh, all the way up. I don't want to block my Deba. And hands come to heart center. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, circle sweep. Exhale, forward fold, take it all the way down. Good job. Inhaling flat back, hop, skip, jump, or walk back to that high plank. Holding plank, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Chaturanga vinyasa. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Big breath in. Let go with ah. One more time for me. Big breath in. Let it go. Awesome sauce. Sun cell B, here we come. Look forward, bend the knees. We're going to move faster. Hop, skip, jump, or walk. Feet to hands. Inhaling flat back. Hands on shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle sweep, rising all the way up. Exhale, prayer hands to heart center. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, circle sweep, rise all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, take it all the way down. Inhaling, flat back, hop, skip, jump, walk, however you want to get there. Chaturanga vinyasa, rolling forward on toes, elbows. Inhale, up and exhale, downward facing dog. Students, inhale, right leg up in the air. <coughs> so find that beautiful extension. And then with great care, Please place your right foot in between your hands. So you're going to slide that leg and carefully bring it between the hands. Option to use blocks. So I love that Deba just picked up her blocks. I love runner's lunge with blocks. They help bring the floor closer to your arms and there's less straining. You should always make the practice um, uh, uh, feel organic and comfortable, even easy if you wish. Okay. Uh, don't push too hard. Please don't strain. Uh, this should be just super duper naturally uh, functional uh, movements. Okay. No contortionism. So the blocks are fantastic for helping you achieve that. My arms tend to be pretty short, so I love my blocks when I do this. <coughs> While you're in that position, excuse me. Thank you. Please bring the insides of your thighs toward each other. So now you're going to work those inner thighs. And the muscles know what they need to do. They're pulling toward each other, okay, like a pair of scissors. And the force is so magnificent that maybe even your mat gets a little bit scrunched up from the power of those thighs. And once you feel that, and it's all in the feeling, you bring your arms back. Okay, so now you're going to remove the little training wheels. And the legs are doing the full heavy lifting here. And fingertips point behind you. And there's just electric through those fingers, through those hands, through those arms. And the crown of your magnificent head is reaching toward the front of your room. And this is called um, an airplane lunge, or this is what I call it into Thunderbolt, and that would be your left arm extends forward in front of you. So right arm pulls back, left arm's in front of you. And from Thunderbolt, it's a gorgeous transition into a warrior two position, rolling down, yeah, rolling down that back heel and propelling your arms and reaching the arms apart from each other and your shoulders are soft, positioning those hips right underneath you. So as Kelly would say, you don't sass the hips. The hips stay right under the, your rib cage. Take a breath here in your second warrior. 
flip your palms, have them open to the ceiling. We're going to breathe in and reverse our warrior. Breathe out into extended side angle lunge. Let's take a few of these, breathing in and reversing. Exhaling, extended side angle lunge. Breathe in and reverse. Extended side angle lunge. Awesome. Bring it back to warrior two positioning. Good. So that front knee is bent in warrior two proper. Good. Propelling your arms, we step the back foot forward to meet the front one, but I want you to land in standing. Okay, so this is just as new for Deba as it is for you at home. She and I do not plan these together. You know, we come up with it at the studio, so she doesn't know what I'm going to do either. Um, but standing is the location I want us all to meet and facing forward. So look at your monitor now, wherever you're standing. We go right into some standing postures, again, on the right side. And I know we only did Sun Sal B on the right side, but we'll return to it. Haven't forgotten it, so don't worry. Eagle, inhale, circle sweep up nice and high. Stretch up out of the waist, and exhaling that right arm is going to swing underneath the left crossing at elbows and wrists, palms together if that's available to you. If not, hold a digit or hold on to your shoulders. Breathe. Bend your knees, finding those eagle legs for me. It's the right leg that comes high up and over the left. Yes, ma'am. Just taking a few breaths in your eagle position. Good. Two more breaths here. That is making Eagle look very easy. 14 major joints here being squeezed and activated and woken up. One more breath. Your dismount is into Nataraja position, so I'm taking you right into your balances. As you untangle that right knee, the right hand finds it out to the right. And we open up the left arm out to the left side. These are beautiful. This is good work, guys. Dancer King, breathing here. And please, bringing your knee forward, give it a squeeze. So interlace those fingers and place your hands around that shin. Activating that glute, standing tall. I want you to lift into the belly, so pull your belly in and up and find your full body lift here. Circling that ankle is a great idea. Good. And release down. Shake out whatever needs shaking. So feel free to just do a little sweet kind of I don't know, noodly dance here, letting go. Shoulders, smile, whatever it is. We'll take our sun cell B on the left side. So returning to face it, yeah, to the side legs again. Inhale, circle sweeping up, breathe in, extend and reach. And exhale for hands to your heart center. Here's your grounding, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Take it all the way down. Okay, hands on the ground. Inhaling, flat back. So you can step back or hop back or jump, however you like to work. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Roll forward on the toes, bending at the elbows. Inhaling, upward facing dog. And exhaling, flip the feet, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Left leg comes up nice and high. Extend that leg. <coughs> Good. And carefully place it, please, in between your hands. Setting up for runner's lunge. Option to tense your fingers or hold blocks. And I want you to focus on mostly here, though, the 
not the training wheels of the hands on the floor, but instead the strength of your legs. How tightly and firmly can you pull those inner thighs toward each other to help establish the strongest balance available to you in this lunge position? When you really set that up, that's when you remove the hands. It's all in the preparation. You stand strong with proper preparation. Those fingertips pull back and the arms extend and crown of head pulls forward. Good. Breathe. Thunderbolt. So the right arm is going to extend. This is one of my favorite postures. I love this posture. I think it's beautiful. Especially when the class is filled with people and everyone's in Thunderbolt. It is some of the strongest energy in a yoga room. And uh, we're just Deva doing it. And it's still pretty darn strong. She's representing all of you here at Vista. All right, the transition is into Warrior Two, spinning the back heel down. Yep, thank you, sweetheart. That's great. And you're going to be leading with left leg still. Is that true? Thank you. That's great. So we're on Warrior Two on the left side. Flip our palms. Breathe in. Reverse the Warrior. Breathing out. Extended side angle lunge. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathing in and out. Good. Returning to two proper. Excellent. And remember, this transition is to standing. Let those arms help you, so propel them. And they'll help balance you out as you step that back foot forward to meet the front one. And then turn to face your device if you're not facing it. And um, eagle, inhale, circle, sweep up high. Identify your left arm, that's this one in our view, and bring it underneath the right. Okay. So crossing at elbows and wrists if that's available. Otherwise holding a digit. The hands on shoulders is a perfectly wonderful way to do this. Bend your knees, sit down, left leg comes high up and over the right. Now option to tuck your foot behind your calf if you can bring it there. And if not, just think about doing it and one day it will become what you think about. Your foot's going to slide right back there with great ease. Eagle, two more breaths. I love that. Amanda's watching us from New York City, so that's pretty cool. Okay, the dismount out of eagle, please, is to Nataraja pose. So you untangle your arms and hold on to the left knee with your left hand, extending right arm out if that's available. Maybe shifting gaze over to the right. Remember, we did those nice neck twists at the start of class. Two more breaths in Dancer King. Long holds are difficult. Three, it's waiting. Patience, please is key. We'll bring our shin back, please, to center. And you're going to interlace your fingers. And you're going to capture your shin. And breathe in and really find that body. Let it lift up. Two more breaths. Okay. And please release. So letting go of that limb. Shaking out whatever needs shaking. Rolling shoulders. 
good tree pose. Tree pose. I'd like to take it from goddess. We haven't done goddess in a while. So let's open up to goddess and then find our tree. And goddess, you just kind of open up your legs and find a comfortable place. It's not a huge space between the heels, but it's not a small space either. So find that comfortable in-between space. And you can take a look at Deba and where she found it. And the toes point out in goddess, not uncomfortably so, right? But just point out. Bending your knees, positioning the pelvis underneath you, so tailbone pointing down, belly lifts up. Taking lotus hands, so you're going to attach your pinkies, you're going to attach your thumbs, and the rest of the fingers spread wide. Try to bring the elbows together if that's available to you. And sink down into that goddess. And breathe in and push the elbows up and straighten out your legs. Open up the arms. Find your goddess. Inhaling, pushing up, grow, exhaling, let those seeds go. Inhale, and away to me, this is a beautiful prelude to tree. Take three more. One. And a gorgeous. Two. Last one. Thank you, Deva. That was exquisite. Straighten out your legs, please. Extend your arms out. Pull your right toes in towards your left foot. Bending that right knee, you can just kind of pivot it, open and close, lubricating the hip bone, hip in its socket. And when you have a nice place for that leg, draw your heel up the standing leg. So tree pose on the right side, which means the right leg lifts, and the left leg is your standing leg. Find a place for your arms, however you like to express your tree. Two more breaths here. And tree release. Let it go. Roll out. I won't, we won't do the goddess on the other, for the left side. That was a lot of goddess. So for your left side, the weight goes into the right leg, and you just bring your left toes uh, and pivot on them and open and close your thigh. Good. Find a good spot and draw your left heel up your right standing leg. Breathe. Two more breaths. release. Let that leg go. Students, shake out whatever you need to shake out. We are going down to the mat. A couple of back strengtheners and then some awesome power, Saturday power core work. So grab your drink. I think I'll take mine too. Yum, yum. Drink a lot. A lot of beautiful water. Another gorgeous day. This whole weekend has been fantastic. 
Americans still happy 14th year at Mystic. So <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, you started Memorial Day weekend 14 years ago. So here, guys, you can read it. <laughs> and uh, you know, this is the stuff that that keeps us going. So the fact that you guys have been watching us and joining us for 14 years is unbelievable to me. So pretty cool. Back strengtheners, right? All right. What should we do? Uh, skydive. Hmm? Start with cobra. Okay. So Cobra, you're going to be on your belly and your hands are below your shoulders and your elbows point up. So it's like it's like you got little crickety arms. Straighten out those legs and the tops of your feet will stay glued to the floor. Stretch the body long. Let's inhale and pick our chest up. Exhale and lower. Inhale, pick up your chest. Exhale, lower. Pick it up, inhaling, and lower. Couple more. Inhale. One more for me. So Cobra, super great for that lower back, right? The lumbar spine. Very, very good strengthener for the lower back if you're not able to do it on the floor yet. You can do it against a wall and just practice your cobras that way. Okay? So that's really good for lower back. We're going to hit the middle back now. So extend your arms out like airplane wings and pull the toes back. Big toes touch if possible and legs are straight. We're going to raise our chests like we did in cobra and our legs. So empty your body first. Let's get real light. Yeah, and then inhale, fly, chest lifts, shoulder blades pull together, down, legs lift if possible, you got that, squeeze through those thighs, and down, <laughs> landing, inhale lifts us up, exhale down for your landing, three more, this is the middle back, inhale up, and lower. Inhale up. And lower. One more for that thoracic spine. Inhale up. Good. And lower. Awesome. Here's a quad stretch, okay, for all you guys going out hiking or running today or taking a long walk. Grab that right foot behind you and hold on to it with your hands and just bring your heel close to your butt if possible. So you really want to give that quad a good stretch. First lengthen it. Squeeze. Option now to lift the, la the thigh off the floor. <coughs> and that really depends on how you're built, whether that works or not. Either way, it's a beautiful, beautiful stretch. Good. Let's try the other side. And you notice how I cue with keeping your face and your chest flat on the floor for this one. So left knee will now bend. You'll grab your left foot. I want to make it look like I'm grabbing her foot. Does that look kind of cool? All right. So I've got Deba's foot in my hand. <laughs> Stretch the thigh, squeeze the heel towards your high knee. If possible, you're going to lift your thigh up and down. Reminds me a little of like Land of the Giants. That was a uh, TV show when I was a kid. And there used to be like big people and then little people and they would do TV stuff, magic, to make it look like the, the smaller people were in their hands and things like that. So that's the old land of the giants. One more time, inhale and down. Good. And release that leg. And you can just kind of either fl flutter or windshield wiper. 
or whatever feels cool there. Mm. You know what's coming next, guys. It's abs time, right? We'll roll over and we'll do the abs. And again, Deb is going to be filming. Uh, so are we doing abs today? On oh, hip openers. So after this, we go into filming. Um, Deb has put together a beautiful hip opener uh, tutorial for you. And that's going to be live, uh, not live, but it'll be in our on our videos probably by this afternoon or evening. So look out for that. So since she's not doing filming abs after this, we're going to do all the abs now. No sympathy. Bend your knees and, and grab your thighs to your chest and wrap your arms. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And we'll start by with a nicer one. So you're going to take your hands and with palms on the floor and fingers side by side, place them under your tailbone. Good. <laughs> Raise your legs up in the air. Mm -hmm. What we'll do this time is uh, point the toes and we're going to lower the legs at a good clip. Not too fast, not too slow. So go lower them all the way down until they're one inch off the floor. Good. Bring your knees to your chest. Push your heels to the ceiling. Lower legs. Knees to chest. And heels to the ceiling. Now if it's super uncomfortable or you can't balance with your hands underneath your tailbone, you're certainly welcome to remove them and place them on your sides if that helps you with balance. We have seven more, please. Take your time here and please breathe with it and breathe through it. So Land of the Giants would have been like in the 60s. So animation has come a long way since then, obviously. But back then, it was very novel and really cool to see like what television was doing. What, Deba? Four more? Four, three, two, and one. <coughs> Releasing your hands out and bending the knees or taking a, uh, a feel uh, something that feels good. Maybe, yeah, I was just going to say that, separating your feet a little and windshield wipering your thighs from one side to the next is a great way to release the lower back. I got a couple more up my sleeve, okay? Because then I really want to give you some beautiful stretches after that. So, ab work. Option to put those hands again underneath your tailbone or not. For me, it's really helpful, but it might not be for everyone. Heels come on up in the air. We're going to use a little more discipline here. Point your toes and then flex your feet and lower your heels six inches. Point, flex, lower. Point, flex, lower. Point, flex, lower. You went too fast. Point, flex, lower. And then they hover. Your water bottle's in the way. We're going to open and close these legs in scissors. Thank you. So you can see our scissoring legs. Look at that. Such great control. Just a couple of inches off the floor. It's just opening and closing. That's fantastic. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Bend those knees. Give yourself a hug and a squeeze. Taking some bicycles now. What would Saturday morning be without Amy's bicycles, right? Spread those fingers. Place your hands on the back of your head. Ideally, the lower region of the head, the occipital region. And spread your elbows if possible. Raise your upper back a couple of inches off that floor for me. Good. Extend your left leg and bring your right knee up. Now, what I'd really love to see here, and this is super hard to do, 
these pants are adorable. This knee is right above the hip, so she never is going to bring it closer. Okay, she's going to stop there. And maybe the left elbow reaches for it without drawing the knee closer than hip. Good. And change. So th that's, that's the best kind of bicycle to do where that knee stops where your hip is instead of drawing in further. That's going to work the core a lot better, guys. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Stretch out long. Mm -hmm. Breathe in and out. I really want you stretching that core. We're taking it right into second set. Splay those fingers. Hold the back of your head. Bring one knee up and go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Stretch out nice and long. One more set for me. Hands at the head. And here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. If you guys love ab work after this is over, go play Deba's 8-Minute Ab video. It's on Instagram TV, it's on our Facebook, and it's on our YouTube channel. And you can do those 8-Minute Abs any time of day, as many times as you want, as many days of the week as you want. Okay? So I'm going to cut it here since they can watch your video and do more if they want to because I want <laughs> I want to get into some super deep stretches not super deep but some really necessary stretches I don't want you to go super deep okay just some necessary stuff starting with your bridge but the prelude to bridge first is your pelvic tilt so knees bend feet on the floor and I don't want you to do anything but just concentrate and focus on pointing that tailbone toward the back of your room, your pubic bone toward the front of your room, securing all the mula bandha, so all that awesome matter that makes up your lower core. And when that feels good and strong, then and only then, press into your feet and use your hamstrings, the backs of your legs, and let's rise up into bridge position. Good. And try to hold this, but please make sure you are breathing. So feeding your bridge breath. Two more breaths. Okay. Carefully lowering down. Give yourself a hug. And since I can demonstrate, and you may need to look at your monitor, I'm going to work with Deba here. This is my favorite uh, lower back exercise. I encourage everybody to do this every day. Left leg extends flat on the mat and relaxes. Right knee comes up, and the foot comes up as well. Okay. Her knee is right on top of her hip. I want to make sure I'm not blocking. Okay, good. So Deb is going to open her knee out to the right. Then she'll straighten her leg with a flexed foot, push down. You can push down toward this one, though. Good. And then rotate the leg in. Okay, so try to get knee up, knee out, push down. When it's straight, you rotate. Good. Up, out, push it down, rotate it. Okay, so that rotation is the final step. You're going to feel that in your lower back. 
and it is a fantastic lower back exercise and it's a luxury to be able to show you exactly <coughs> the correct way that that's done because usually when our classes are full I can describe it but half the class doesn't get it so examine that how she rotates that leg inward at the very last step you may feel clicking all over your body for that one. Okay, let's take the other side. Left knee comes up, calf parallel to the floor. Good, foot is flexed. We open left knee out to the left. Push down. Fantastic. Good work. Wind removing pose from there. So relax your left leg, pick up your right. You're going to interlace your fingers and squeeze your shin. I've read so many great things this week. And I wrote things down, and I thought, what can I use for today's theme? And um, didn't end up picking anything. But I read some beautiful quotes and ideas and concepts all week. I'm sure you guys are coming up with tons and tons of uh, realizations and new ideas and new concepts. We're all just kind of reinventing our lives, our own lives, and seeing the world around us kind of differently. Good time to write all that stuff down. We're going to switch out our legs whenever you're ready, wind removing on the other side. One thing I do know is this: cu our culture has become so much more empathetic, and that is such a great thing. And everybody's really helping everybody. It's amazing. It's almost a utopia in that way kind of the world I always dreamt of. Okay, and you'll release that leg. Maybe take both legs. Shall we give ourselves a hug here? Bending your knees. How about waterfall, Deba? Shall we take a waterfall? So if you have a block or a big book at home and you want to elevate your hips and raise your legs above your hips, and the idea behind this, the elevation part, is so that the heart is the lowest point. You're welcome to do uh, this with no prop, of course. But if you wanted the heart to be much lower or markedly lower uh, to receive more blood, then you do put a little elevation Let's see. in the hip area. There we go. Elevate the hip. I like to stay here for about five minutes or so. Deba reminded me it's also lovely to raise your arms because then everything is being channeled. So this might be your final shavasana. Oh, 
Happy birthday, Kate Rosette. Happy birthday, beauty. beauty. Kate's been sending us all kinds of photos of her doing yoga every day. She's absolutely beautiful, so vibrant. And she practices with us every single day. It's pretty cool. Happy birthday, beauty. You may stay in your waterfall. Some of you love your half pigeon. So if that's you, you're welcome to take your pigeon or sh your corpse pose for your Shavasana. Deb is going to be doing a hip opener video that we are going to post later on today. So maybe you wait till later to do your hip openers. I'm going to take you into Shavasana now.
great day. Have yourselves a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Deba, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we have Marari and Deba, and they have put together an incredible power class for you. So join us at 9 a.m. Happy birthday, Kate Brzezak, uh, Kelly Mays in West Dennis. See you on Wednesday. And uh, I love you all. Namaste.